I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question. It is a thinking question on quadratic equations. The question here is, two positive integers are in the ratio of 1 is to 3. If their sum is added to their product, the result is 224. Find the integers. So we have positive integers in the ratio of 1 is to 3. So if let integers be, let us say x is 1, then the other one is 3 times x. So x and 3x, right? So their ratio is 1 is to 3. I hope that statement is now absolutely clear. Now it is simpler. It says if their sum is added to their product. Now what is the sum? Sum is x plus 3x. So if their sum is added to their product, it means that is added to product means x times 3x, then the result is 224, then you get 224. Find the numbers or the integers. So that is the equation. So it leaves us with a very simple quadratic equation. Correct? So what do we have here? x plus 3x is 4x. So we have 4x uh, plus 3x squared equals to 224. We can bring all the terms to one side and then solve. So we have 3x squared plus 4x minus 224 equals to 0. So this is the quadratic equation which we need to solve. You can always use quadratic formula to solve it. You could factor and solve it, right? So we'll use factoring techniques to solve this. So what are we looking for? We are looking for product of two numbers should be 3 times minus 224. That is the product. So 3 times 224 negative is what we want, right? And the sum should be 4. So that is the sum we are looking for. And product is, you know, this times this. How to do that? These are big numbers. So whenever the numbers are big, we use prime factorization. So prime factorization is, is the technique. So we'll do prime factorization, right? Now uh, 24, so we could divide 24 by, let us say 4, let's begin by dividing by 4. So 4 times 5 is 20 and then 24, that is 6, 56. 56 we know is 7 times 8 is 56, right? So now we get these three factors. 3 is also a factor, right? So we have, now these are the factors for us. 3 is also a factor, which is a prime factor. Now if I multiply 3 and 4, we get 12. 7, 8, 56, but there's some more difference. It's not, not 4. So basically, we are looking for two numbers, one positive, one negative. Positive number, number is bigger than the negative number, right? So let's move forward. Uh, if we can solve, 7 times 4 is 28, and 8 times 3 is, oh, that gives us. So 7 times 4 is 28, and 8 times 3 is 28, I mean 24. So 24 and 28 difference is indeed 4. So that works for us. Do you see that? So prime factorization indeed is a very effective technique. So the two numbers which we found are, we need plus of 24, I mean plus of 4. So higher number should be passed, 28, right? So we can now write this as 3x squared plus 28x minus 24x minus 224 equals to 0. Correct? Now we can continue with our factoring. We have x common here. So we have 3 plus, I mean, 3x plus 28. Here we will get 8 common. So minus because, you know, 8 and then these are the numbers which comes here. We need 3x, right? So minus 8 common. So 3x and uh, 8, when you divide into this, we get plus 28 equals to 0. Now we can factor 3x plus 28 and we get x minus 8 equals to 0, right? So that gives us two possible solutions. One of the solution is when x minus 8 is 0, right? The other one is when 3x plus 28 is 0. So the 
first one gives us negative number we are looking for positive integers correct and therefore we'll go with this solution which is x equals to 8 you get the idea so we got our solution that is x is equals to 8 therefore the two numbers are we can write down our answer that the numbers are x equals to 8 and the other number will be 3x that is 3 times 8 24 right so that is the solution for us I hope you understand and appreciate that we had a difficult question to factor and the prime factorization technique really helped us to factor this very efficiently you could always use quadratic formula and answer this question right using quadratic formula what do you get let me write down that also so you'll get x equals to minus p which is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square that is 4 square minus 4 ac 4 times 3 times minus 224 divided by 2 times a which is 3 right so when you solve this you'll also get the same result so you could have used quadratic formula to solve this question that was also simple anyway it is up to you i hope knowing different techniques help us to understand the topic better thank you and all the best